Okay, so let's get into this new update in Lightroom, making it way easier to split up your selections, whether it's a landscape or if it's got buildings in your shop. So let's get straight into it. Where this is new is you click on filters here. Right here, this is the new part, landscape. So now we can click on landscape and it's going to be detecting about seven different layers in your image. So we've got sky, mountains, architecture which is going to be the buildings vegetation and natural ground there's one or two more i think it's artificial ground so, so paths and roads and stuff like that um so this is really really nice to make all these selections go through a few examples so again here's a similar one if you click and there's no option here that means you've already got filters up here so you have to go plus and now it's here select landscape Okay, sky, mountain architecture, water. So we can go architecture and sky if we want. We can combine these layers if we want, or we can just select one. So let's go just the building crate mask. Uh, this image is from Cam in the guest editor section. So we have the main subject, the building selected now, and now we can just really bring that out. Super handy. And that's what you might usually do is add contrast to whatever the subject is in your image okay let's just quickly expose this with adaptive color exposure if we click here your landscape okay we can go sky mountains vegetation and water so let's do mountains in water create mask done it really quick in contrast to just the mountains and the water leaving not affecting the grass patch in the middle or well, actually is select so we can go minus landscape vegetation create now it got rid of the grass in the middle there so now we can add contrast to the mountains in the water so in the shot it actually works pretty good because we're bringing out the reflection in the mountain which is the main thing uh yeah super impressive that it picks out the difference between vegetation and uh, natural ground it knows the difference between grass and trees uh, so these images are from the guest editors in the course preset raw image you can follow along step by step we learn all about color theory and the curves and it's more targeted into learning styles in lightroom everyone just teaches tips and tricks out on youtube and in their workshops this is really going deep into what's the different kind of styles what are these rules to color and systems of editing that result in these cohesive looking feeds there's a lot of rules and mathematics to uh, color and editing so we try to really break down the why the reason behind these adjustments to get these really neat pleasing edits lots of different styles so it's for everyone let's do it to this one this image i think so we have to come up here um select landscape and it's not a landscape shot so still works really well because we have architecture in here i think we have everything in this shot except for mountains we have sky water the only thing i think is missing is subjects but if you wanted to do that select objects select people you got all those other options here select sky these are over here this is for landscapes this new feature so it's really interesting to test the power of it say there is definitely no landscape or architecture in this one so hitting landscape artificial ground is the only thing it found so pretty impressive that it doesn't it's still able to work when there's nothing it knows that there is no landscape in there um this one's pretty good landscape mountains sky foreground so we can go create mask and then just add contrast to just the mountains and the ground if we want you can see how that dodges and burns your subject you can enhance leading lines around your subjects uh, i think this is a very good idea it makes the subject stand out a lot more so it's pretty impressive we can select these areas but how do you actually use it to improve your photos what i found within the course so many people are doing different things with their filters their brushes their radial filters you essentially most of the time are just trying to enhance what is in the image 
so your subject you're trying to direct the viewer's eye to the subject the most important parts that might be taking away contrast from some areas darkening areas adding a contrast especially to the subject just enhancing whatever is the strength in um, that image already and also removing distractions by maybe darkening the foreground and stuff like that but i myself have seen all the guest editors in the course and they're just they're just doing very very different things all of them um, it contributes a lot to your style I don't like to overdo it with radial filters brushes selections I like to keep it minimal personally but I love seeing how just lift the shadows a little bit to their subjects subtle vignettes in different areas of the image so yeah check out my free trainings free presets um, if you want to join over a thousand students in the number one Lightroom editing course in the world links in the description we've got a hundred super talented photographers teaching where you get the raw image the preset so that way there's no gaps in your learning you can follow all these talented people step by step learn different styles and then i've been doing this for seven eight years now so i'm there breaking down what is happening in these styles so you can do it to your images it's all about editing in 2025 gear is just all so good now upgrading your lenses isn't what is making your images get to the next level but editing is so catch you in the next one